John Allen, the editor of Crux. On Saturday, Italian Cardinal Diogeni Tetamanzi died at the age of 83. Tetamanzi had been a towering figure in Catholicism for the last 30 years, uh, and at one time was considered a front runner to become Pope himself. Here are three things you should take away from the life and legacy of this remarkable Catholic personality. First, Tetamanzi was widely seen as a progressive in the College of Cardinals, the heir of the famous Jesuit uh, Cardinal Archbishop of Milan, Carlo Maria Martini. And in that sense, he's a reminder that the election of Pope Francis in March 2013 didn't just fall out of a clear blue sky. There were a number of progressive, reform-minded cardinals in that conclave who were looking for a pope just like him. Secondly, despite his reputation as a progressive, Tetamanzi was also a favorite uh, of St. Pope John Paul II. Uh, he was a primary contributor to John Paul's 1995 encyclical uh, Evangelium Vitae, the Gospel of Life, uh, and John Paul, of course, put him in Milan, one of the premier dioceses in Catholicism in 2002. Uh, in that sense, he's also a reminder that the use of political labels to understand the Catholic Church often conceals more than it reveals. And finally, third, in the run-up to the conclave of 2005, after the death of John Paul, no candidate got more buzz in the global media than Diogeni Tetamanzi. Some people basically had him elected pope before the conclave even happened. In the end, of course, he didn't have much traction at all, and Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger was elected as Pope Benedict XVI fairly quickly. That's a reminder that whenever a conclave happens again, sure, listen to what's being said about it, including by people like me, but take it all with an industrial-sized grain of salt. You can read a fantastic obituary of Cardinal Tetamanzi on the correct site by Claire Jean Gravet. Until we talk again, this is John Allen. I will see you again soon.